Hello everybody, SuperXP Chris here, and today I'm doing a video for Just Gaming, and this is going to be the arcade game of the week, and this week it's going to be Dungeon Defenders, and basically this is a weird game, and you get to play as the apprentice, the squire, the hunter, huntress, a monk, yep, and I've only got the trial of this game, but hopefully you guys should enjoy, and uh, I was, as I said, I've only got the trial, so I, you, don't get to, you don't get to see as much of the game, but yeah. I've already played this game a bit before with my friend, so I've got a really awesome weapon. You can also you can also really customize your dude. I would show you that, but I couldn't be able to make a new character. And this is like sort of the lobby, like just like the one in Call of Dreads, but there's a lot more to do. And it's a lot better. And as you guys can see, the Tavern of Mr. Battlefield, because I'm a boss. And uh, yeah, so in this weird tavern place, you can buy new things, um, because basically you'll see the story of the game in a minute. But my dog is watching tomorrow. And um yeah. But this is basically the load lobby. You can buy things with a mana. No, it's not mana. I really can't remember what you call it. Um, but basically that little blue thing in the bottom right the bottom left that you can see is um like the currency. And also I'm playing with my friend Afro Assassin through this entire thing because this game is you can't I, don't, I think you can't even play it single player, you can only play it with your, with some friends on Xbox Live or split screen and it's four player. I know, and these are some of the things you can buy. You can buy some pets, as you guys can see, but they are extremely expensive. And this is the story. So basically, it involves this town thing here, um, sort of got attacked by all these dudes, and like the older versions of these dudes. Of oh, actually, no, wait, they are. Yeah, they are the dudes. All these guys have been fighting them off and defending this diamond for centuries. Oh, just clicked. They've been defending this diamond for centuries. And then they go off to fight something. You guys can read it at the bottom as well. So they go off to fight something. I'll give in a retail description of it. And they leave their children. And then their children get up to some mischief, should we say. Not of the sexual kind. But And then the apprentice guy, young adult, I think, knocks something over and creates a portal, I think it is, and releases all the orcs and whatever they are. To rain down upon the kingdom and own their faces. All them dudes. And your job is to defend the crystal against all these people. It's sort of like that Elks Must Die game that came out. And these are, ch that was a chest. Well, that's more of a gameplay was a chest. You get, uh, I think I'm just going to call it mana. You get mana out of that, which then you can use. And also this is sort of like the skill tree thing you got. Um, you, you eventually unlock more things and it gets really good. But yeah, I, I can't do that as I'm only got the... Trial. But yeah, this game is really fun. I mean, the skill tree for it is actually pretty beast. And look, I have ranked up because I'm a boss. And you also get items that you just saw on the right there. And then so you like, get better weapons, better armor, better whatever. And yeah, this is how you build defenses. You get defenses in the game to def like to defend your crystal. And as I'm the squire, I don't get as many defenses because I'm not very good. But my friend Callum is the apprentice, so he gets like sentry guns and stuff and uh, I don't actually know what the hunter s woman has or the monk but I think it looks pretty cool whatever they do have I think actually on the try we can actually unlock everything I'm not actually sure because you know I haven't played it that much and yeah this is the combat but this, this is a bit laggy for me so I don't know really laggy for you guys probably not but yeah there's me so owning some orcs because uh, these are like it's, it's basically like a uh, horde mode because it's wave one Wave two, and also when you press B, you can call out to call out for your buddy to come help you and whatever. And yeah, so here's me owning some more enemies because you got like this building phase, and then you've got what they call a combat phase, which is um, pretty cool. So it's sort of like that Orcs Must Die game, Orcs Must Die game, but with less creativeness and more combatness. And yeah, it's a pretty good game though. So. Yeah, I'll be doing one of these every week. Kind of just a bit involved. I'll be doing one of these every week. I think probably putting it out on a Saturday. Uh, and Callum will be putting it out on Friday. So you guys can go check that one out. It's caught. I think this week it was on. Needs to be the run. Pretty good game. Probably get probably renting it. Funsies. But yeah, that's also a special ability I got. And you'll see me using that in a bit. But yeah, the enemies that, you, that we faced at least were these basically the little orc dudes that just whacked you. Uh, archer guys, which you know, a bit self explanatory that hit you, and they're these massive dudes that were just basically tanks and they just destroyed everything. 
uh, when you get this ogre thing at the end, you guys will see that. That has got like 3,000 health and it is really a boss. And yeah, that's my special ability, which makes me own people. And also, um, when you're the apprentice, you press LT, you can charge up your like one shot and hit people with it. But on this, I could block. I didn't actually know that I could do that until, I don't know, probably about a few minutes before we finished. But yeah. And so as you guys can see, the coming up there. And on this map, there were sort of three, three main ways to get in. You could either go through the middle or the left or the right. And I covered the left side and kind of covered the right side. But yeah, at the moment, right now, well, in this video, we were getting owned. So we had to pull back to the crystal and try and defend it. And that, that was this, this Callum side that was getting screwed over as well. So I don't think that I was so bad. And as you guys can see, kind of the stage dive that failed. But, you know, the Callum sentry turret things are defending. He's defending. But they broke through on Callum's side. So I went up to them and owned their phases. And these are the big dudes that I was on about. And they do own... I think behind the crystal you can see the ogre, and he is a beast. He is the beast of the beast of the beasts, and he's got like 3,000 health. But yeah, so if you guys have got some friends to play this with, I th it's just a load of fun. Um, it's like sort of skill tree-ish game, like an RPG. And yeah, this, you if you actually saw the gameplay, how long it took me and my friend Callum to kill this, it would be, you know, pretty long gameplay. But yeah, so thank you for watching this video dudes and yeah I, ho I highly recommend you guys go get this game at least get the trial pretty fun games so thank you guys for watching and goodbye